Hey guys! Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Crusader Kings 2. Last episode, not that much happened, although there were a couple big things that happened. Ozric got married because his betrothed what, um, became of age. The other big thing that happened was he got excommunicated, but he wrote to the Pope. And the Pope said that he would lift the excommunication if he changed the law to be under Pope, uh, papal that power, um, so that only the Pope can appoint bishops, which actually I kind of like because I got so tired of having to appoint bishops all the time because all my bishops kept dying and I kept having to appoint more. So, so there we go. That's what happened in the last episode. At the end of this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also share if you can. That would really help me out. And also donate to one of the organizations that supports Black Lives Matter if you have the means to. And if you don't have the means to, there are other ways to support the cause. Let's get to playing some Crusader Kings. Um, Siebert of Dunbar seeks to kill. Okay. There's always someone that seeks to kill someone. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to bribe my wife so that she will like me more. But it doesn't work. I wonder how long I have to wait before that happens. And I'm also trying to get back in favor of my ex-lover. <laughs> She still won't come to court. Nope, it's not gonna work. Nothing's gonna work. I could arrange a marriage. No. No. That idea, I don't think it's gonna work. So. And nothing is uh, happening. I can't pick an ambition? Dang. I don't like her. I don't like my wife. Can't believe I killed my other wife. Uh. Earl revoked the city of Preston from Edmund. Okay. My son! Yay! Assigned guardian. Me. It's gonna be me. Me. I should probably pick a regent, huh? Do I have a regent? <gasps> um, no. Wait, he's my regent. I don't know if I like that. Can I pick a different regent? <laughs> um, but this is one of the brothers I like. This is the brother I like, I think. The most. I like him the most. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'll just keep him as Regent. That's fine. What? A daughter was born to and Duke Elfmare of Somerset. Okay. I don't know why that matters to me, but okay. Let me check on my faction. Uh, my mission to Warwick has so far been a success. During my visit to the court, um, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. Yay, okay. Um, let me check my factions. It's super low. Maybe I should hold this summer fair. I guess I can't? Oh, it's too late. Dang. <laughs> Buy indulgence for sins. That might get me piety. I want to go on a grand hunt, but I have too much health. I have too many health problems to go on a grand hunt. Fine. Nothing. I'll do nothing. <laughs> nothing. Whoa, hold on. It seems the young women no longer have the power to seduce me. I lose the trait lustful. 
I just don't feel lustful anymore. I guess you're growing out of it, Audric. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder how that affects me. Can I? Nope. Dang. I want her to like me more so that she gets pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. Medieval music just makes me happy. I don't know how to explain it. <gasps> A daughter was born. What? Okay. Everyone's having daughters. My leash, my mission to Warwick has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of... Okay. I seem to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruver ruler you really are. Okay. Maybe you should move. Because you've been there a while. This guy. Right? Improve relations somewhere else. Where should he move? I have no idea. Where do I need to improve relations? Elfmare, that's the one who hates me, right? Let's go there. Okay. Princess Maria of England is now of legal age. She became a flamboyant schemer. My daughter. Okay. Should I get her married? Let's see. She is betrothed. Ooh, it's almost time for him to marry. Marry. Let's take a look. Let's arrange a marriage. The Tsar! Ooh! Yes, yes, yes. Or King of Denmark. I would like to be able to press this. Maybe. Would, would that press it more? I don't know. I don't know how it works, but... Denmark would also be good. 80 prestige for marrying into the house and zero for marrying a czar. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that sounds like a good marriage to me. To the Honorable King Osric, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I've decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal. Excellent. Now, why isn't my wife getting pregnant? Dang. She likes me 51, so it is still going up. I'm getting a lot of gold now. Which is definitely a good thing. Man, Osric has been ruling for a very long time. How long has the game been going on? 42 years. I think osric has been ruling for 40 years. Because <laughs> he was a baby when he <laughs> inherited the throne. <laughs> he was a baby. Um, wait, 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 what's happening? Someone seeks to kill someone, like always. Duke Wolfgeet has inherited something. Duke Wolfgeet is no longer Marshall. Dang. Um, Betrothal can marry. Yes, please. Okay, I have to pick another Marshall. Ooh, Wolfgeet. <laughs> I mean, he already inherited the rest from the other wolf geat, so he might as well inherit this position as well, huh? And, okay, you need to train troops. Let's train troops, because we never have enough. Let me check on my factions. Okay, <laughs> no worry. No worry there. And yay, blessings upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that they get married. Oh no, that means she left my realm, which means that she's no longer the guardian. She's left for the kingdom of France. Let's assign guardian then. Who is this? This is my cousin. <sighs> my niece, I mean. This is my son's <laughs> half-sister. That's who this is. My son's half-sister. 
I could have my mother be guardian. Okay, I'll have my mother be guardian of her. And then... This is my daughter. I will let... Can I have my wife? I want my wife. Queen of England, yes. Yes. My son Osric lacks all passion and ambition. Perfectly content with his lot in life. It suits his position. Gains the trait content. Happy with upbringing. That will not do! Let's do that. Content would be a good thing to be. I want him to be happy with his upbringing. The Earl of Durham seeks to kill Osric. What? Wolf Geatson. Osric Wolf Geatson? Who is Osric Wolf Geatson? Is that my son? No. I don't know who that is. But okay. She only likes me 23 now? What? Okay, I'm gonna send her a gift. <laughs> Please like me. I guess it's just a marriage of convenience, huh? My leech submission to Somerset has so far been a success. Yay! I seem to manage to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are in his sense his regards. Yay! Okay, should I move him again? No, I'll let him stay there a little bit longer. My liege, my mission to Somerset has so far been a success. Yay! <laughs> Maybe I should have recall him now. I don't know where else. He doesn't like me. Let's have you go to Oxford. <laughs> There's nothing happening at all. Wife, get pregnant. She is not. Your steward, Earl Edwin, has collected a special tithe in Wessex. Yay! Jeez, I'm getting a lot of gold. Can I send her a gift? No. What is this? What was that? Um, Alfric has been imprisoned by Earl something or other. Okay. A daughter was born to Ethel Swiss. Okay. Hmm. Let's take a look real quick. She's still unmarried. She still won't accept a gift, and she still won't accept an invitation. And there's no one else I can arrange with her. Okay, fine. Be like that. That's okay. He's not lustful anymore anyway. Um, someone's been banished. And he decided to exile him. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna deal with my prisoners. I'm gonna banish you. And I'm gonna ransom you. And I'm gonna hold a summer fair. This should make the peasants happy. Oh, I think that was the wife of the guy I was at war with all those years ago. Okay. An errant monk is disturbing the summer fair by preaching about sins and the end of the world. His drivel is frightening some, but most of the crowd around him is mocking and laughing at him. He's just another part of the entertainment. <laughs> Ooh, kick him out. He does not belong at the summer fair. Uh-oh, the peasants are upset? 
I don't think so. I'd rather lose five of piety than upset the peasants. Um, I accept paying your ransom. Okay. Yay. <laughs> so now I have no prisoners. Wow. He's a faction leader. It's not that big though. Okay. The peddlers are loading their wares. Okay. The fair is over already. Okay. Eberhard is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward nephew? Our son. How about a pat on the head? He gains the trait arbitrary. And he's happy with upbringing. It's the strap for him. He loses the trait arbitrary. I think he needs to learn right from wrong. I don't really agree with the strap, but arbitrary. This character could not, could not care less about justice. A character flaw that is not appreciated by vassals and courtiers. It's not a good trait. So I'm going to have to go with this, although I don't agree with that method. Duke Wolfgeet II of Lothian has declared Lothian War for Earl Wolfmare's claim on Galloway on King Colin the Unready. <laughs> King of Scotland. Ooh. My wife is not getting pregnant, you guys. That's okay. I feel like my son is going to make it. <laughs> Your marshal has initiated a massive recruitment drive in Wessex. That's nice. No gift. Wolfkey is now known as the Accursed. Oh! Welcome to the club. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to have to wrap up this episode. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also share if you can. That would really help me out. It would be amazing. Also, if you have the means to donate to help support the Black Lives Matter movement, then I posted links below. So go do that. If not, that's okay. Try and support in other ways. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram to stay informed and up, up to date as to what I'm up to. Also, you can join me in the Discord as well because that is also a great way to stay up to date on everything I do. Yeah, I've been streaming a lot lately on Twitch, so if you would like to see some live streams, be sure to follow me on there, although I do upload them to YouTube after the fact, but it's not the same as watching live. Also, if you haven't already, go check out the rest of my YouTube channel because I have lots of other content on there that you might enjoy, and I hope to see you guys next time, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!